Hi there. Welcome to Sandbox Framework Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will make a simple jump pad asset, something like this. When you start the player and when you go over it, you will be launched into the air. So let's get started. First, let's make sure the plugin is enabled by going to Edit, Plugins menu, and Edit Text Studios, and make sure the Sandbox Framework is enabled. And after that, let's just create a new folder. Let's call it Sandbox, and create a new actor. And for our purpose, we will use the built-in Sandbox actor that comes with the plugin. So let's select it and call it BP Jump Pad. BP Jump Pad, let's call it like that. And in here, I'll first add a static mesh component to make sure that we can see our asset. And we'll create a new variable and call it notify tag. Convert it to a gameplay tag. And we'll just keep it like that. Make sure it's a blueprint readable, read only. And now implement this event on sandbox actors pond. So we'll implement it, and this is the sandbox asset that is responsible for spawning this actor. So from here, we will use the get mesh node, and we'll assign the static mesh from this node, like that. All right, we are halfway there. Now, before continuing with the jump pad asset, we'll go ahead and create a jump pad node for our sandbox so we'll go to sandbox and create sandbox node blueprint we'll use the sandbox node parent and call it sn player jump with that node created we'll go to third person character we'll open it up and we need a way to represent this character here so first thing i'm going to do is add sandbox component In begin play event, we will call sandbox world subsystem and we'll apply tag to ourselves. That means this character right here. And the tag that we're going to apply is just character. So this third person character will be the only one who's having this character tag we'll save it we'll close it and we'll go back to the sandbox node we created and in here we will make sure the value that is passed to this node contains the tag so first we will create has gameplay tag and we'll right click and on, on the we'll right click on actor with sandbox component and promote it to variable and just call it actor make sure the instance is editable and expose on spawn and then we'll use the test tag as character and then we'll press we'll pass it to a branch we'll also add a sequence node we'll pass it to a branch and if the actor has if the input actor has this tag that means this is the third person character then what we're going to do is we'll call get notify tag and then we'll call notify actor and the, the, the actor with sandbox component will be our actor so we'll just pass that and for the notify tag we'll just connect this return value here and from the sequence just call trigger first output make sure the finish is ticked so this is the logic in player jump and then we'll go back to the third person character and we'll right click on sandbox component and select the event on receive notify and if the notify tag is equal to, we'll create a new tag called character launch. So if the notify tag is equal to character launch, we will launch. 
launch character node and we'll launch the character finder units up we'll save it and we're done with the third person character we'll then create a sandbox graph so we'll just call it SGA underscore uh, player jump and in here we'll create a new input called notify character and then we will add a new custom input with object so this object will represent our third person character and then we will assign a event name to not as the notify character and then we will add our SN player jump node right here now to modify this SN player jump if you if you want to change the name and the category it appears just double click on this node which will open our original sandbox node and goes and go to class settings and inside the blueprint display name just type uh, player jump or whatever name you want to show up and then in category just type uh, anything just like maybe tutorial and then if you compile and go back to the graph it will be updated and here you can see it's inside the tutorial category with the player jump node so here we will just connect this with the object and actor and we will call finish because we want to finish the graph when this is done we will save it close it and we'll go back to our uh, jump pad asset and now we we need a way to actually launch the character right so to do that the first thing we want to do is open up the interface and make sure the notify tag is set to character launch and then we will right click on get notify tag and we will pass this tag right here which is the character launch and we will add a new component called sphere collision I'll make sure to overlap only pawn this is optional I just prefer that so right click on sphere component and on component begin overlap we will first check has gameplay tag so this other actor can be anything it can be your third person character it can be your NPC or anything and any other actor so we want to make sure that this is our character so instead of casting we make sure the actor has the character tag which we only assigned in third person character right here we will pass a boolean so if it is true then that means we are the overlapping actor is a third person character and then we will call sandbox graph subsystem and start graph with value we'll pass the true output here and the graph owner is ourself so pass that and the event name will be the same event name we put in our player jump so we'll just copy that and paste that here as for the value we want the actor itself so we'll pass that all right so okay so now the only thing that remains is our actual asset so we'll create that and we'll just call it sa jump pad and we'll assign our jump pad mesh name description icon texture I'll just leave it blank and then for asset tag we will just call it a uh, asset jump pad the override actor class is the class that we want to spawn when this actor is created through when this actor is spawned through the UI so we want to select our jump pad asset right here and on the top right you can see that this spawns the BP jump pad asset and for the sandbox graph asset we will assign the SGA player jump and leave everything as it is now our setup is done we'll just make a quick way of spawning the actor on onto the world origin so inside the third person character we'll apply a delay maybe for uh, five seconds and then we'll call uh, sandbox uh, world subsystem 
and we'll call spawn actor from asset and the sandbox asset will be our jump pad and for the spawn transform we'll just use uh, make transform to make sure it is spawn at the world origin so just keep it like that we'll switch our game mode to third person character third person game mode now when we press play after five seconds our jump pad will spawn at the origin of the world and when you go over it it says invalid notify tag on the output so something's wrong right so if we open the player jump we are using the wrong actor here uh, for the notify tag so we'll just unplug everything here and connect the actor to the actor with sandbox component for the notify actor because we want to notify the actor that was passed which is the third person character and for the notify tag let's get the owner of this jump pad node which is the jump pad asset so we will go back and we'll save everything press play and now when the jump pad spawns we'll go over it and our character is launched onto the air so basically what's happening here is the third person character it applies attack after delay it spawns the actor from using this asset and it uses this class to spawn the actor which is the BP jump pad and when it is spawned this function will get called so that the static mesh is assigned and when you overlap it it will first check if the overlapping actor has the tag character and if it has it will send a notification to the graph subsystem for the specific actor with the event name so inside this start graph even with value for the graph owner it will get the graph which is assigned from here and here we uh, we told to start the graph with this event notify character so when the when the character overlaps inside this graph it will call this player jump uh, node and it gets passed this object is the value that is passed here this value right here so it gets passed on to player jump which comes here and it again checks if the character has the 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 actor has the tag we can actually skip this since this verification is already done in the jump pad overlap event so this is optional um, so if it has the tag then it gets the owner which is this the bp jump pad and it calls the notified tag generic interface event which is the event right here and this will return the notified tag which is character launch and uh, that that character dot launch notify tag is passed on to the notify actor function and the actor is our third person character so when this when this node is called this delegate will get fired here and it will compare and then it launches the character so there is no casting or anything like that everything is passed on through the uh, the tag system and notifications and delegates so i hope you got this tutorial and if you have any doubt feel free to ask on our discord support and i'll i'll try my best to help you out so thank you for watching have a great day